I was like laying there and I just like looked at this guy and he was like asleep and I literally What's up guys? Kevin here for Fashion Forward Always. I'm here to talk about five trends that I want dead by the end of 2018. <laughs> <fashionably late. sighs> yeah, sorry about that. Um, I had this video planned for a while and then I'm just terrible at making fucking deadlines. I'm sorry. So number one is the whole dad shoe, ugly shoe, chunky shoe trend that we had towards the middle and the end of 2017. So there's some sneakers that I'm personally okay with, but there's some sneakers where I'm like, ah, oh, it's a bit too excessive. Um, I think the Yeezy Wave Runner 700 is actually kind of decent. I had it in hand, um, actually. I didn't really do a review of it because, you, you know, like, I was just kind of eh. And then it started to grow on me a bit more after I sold it off. So, um, and I heard that there's a restock coming in. So when those restock, I'm probably going to keep them. Um, they seem like decent shoes. I feel like um, I started to like them more, more than, or I started to like them more than my 350s, given that I sold off all my 350 V2s. Because I, I was just tired of that model. And for the 700s, I'm okay with. But the ones that I'm not a fan with is the Balenciaga Triple S and the Gucci Rydon or something like that. Because, well, one, I think the Triple S is being used for the wrong reasons. So, like, they up essentially, they did the Triple S to kind of make fun of the trend and kind of to over exaggerate it. Because, like, it was already. There was already this sense of like a dad shoe, like a clunky shoe trend with the Oswego's 1, 2, and 3 from Raph Simmons and the collaboration with Adidas, but um, Demna just over exaggerated. Like that's what he's been doing with, I guess, a lot of Balenciaga stuff and the and the Vet Moss stuff, where it's kind of like a play on like consumerism and like all that and like trying to kind of um, rile up conversation through the products, but not like conversation as in like fashion more like hype. Like essentially everybody who's wearing it should have an understanding that it should be ironic in a sense. And I just feel like that's, that's pretty novel. Like, you know, the novelty of it wears off relatively quickly. And I do not think that the triple S has a lot of versatility in it. Um, I've seen some people try to rock it with like skinny jeans and it really doesn't look good because the proportions just kind of like does this and then it like shoots back out and it's not like a gradual like taper down or anything like that that's why I didn't really like it um, with crop trousers it looks okay um, um, and the Gucci ride on I feel like I don't like that because it is trend hopping essentially so there is no real like message behind it I feel like Gucci just made that model purely purely for the fact that it's a trend and I don't find any like dignity in that, um, especially that gaudy version that has like Gucci printed on the side. I just like, come on, like, you know, like Gucci is supposed to be like a subtle flex. Same with like, you know, like Louis Vuitton, which is why I was also not a huge fan for the Supreme like Louis Vuitton collaboration, but it, that's that. Um, so yeah, I just want the dad shoe trend to fucking cease to exist. So number two is that I touched upon it in number one, but number two is sweatpants. So there are a few exceptions to this as well. I'm okay with um, with like leisure wear, you know, like I'm okay with that. But I think there's a clear distinction between like leisure wear and just being fucking lazy. Like leisure wear is like something you wear inside the house or on like very, very like rare occasions. Like let's say you have to just run to the store really quickly and then you can wear like leisure wear outside. But I don't believe that leisure wear should really be um, outside as like a display or like a flex, you know, like who's gonna be impressed with your fucking sweatpants? Nobody, nobody's gonna be impressed. And I do understand that people wanna feel comfortable, but there are hundreds and hundreds of different ways to feel more comfortable either through, I, I don't know, like tapered sweatpants or a lot more tailored sweatpants or maybe even like finer materials, you know? Like, I don't know, like I don't understand this whole trend of like looking lazy as fuck. I'm talking about shit that Kanye's been wearing recently. Um, really disappointed in his fits. Um, he just looks like he just doesn't give a fuck. And just the people who decide that that's in right now, like all the Instagram people, um, who just wear just fucking sweatpants and sweats 
and like the Gucci ride on and then the fucking Supreme LV fucking baseball like it's just like gaudy overload and um, you know like I'm fine with what John Elliott is doing because he uses amazing materials and I've had a bunch of his sweats and like they're on par but still like a part of me wouldn't wear like sweats outside unless it's like very very like I literally have nothing else left so number three is half-assed collabs so we already saw this towards the beginning of 2018 um, just collabs so like collaborations are essentially bringing two um, two people possibly in the same sphere possibly in different spheres and putting their creative powers together yeah like a good collab would be like Virgil's off-white like at 10 you know like this is a good collab because it took Virgil's, I guess, like minimalism and his, I guess, his angst, his angst and his um, complete separation from just like pure streetwear, where like a lot of brands now, they are both streetwear and they're designer and they're like merging that. So like half ass collabs, like I can give um, a few examples. Well, in 2018, like I didn't think the Vince uh, Staples collab was really all that great really wasn't much in it. I feel like Vince Staples just like fucking like let me choose the colors just do like embroidery and then just like, do something on the bottom. Like I feel like that wasn't really well thought through. There's like an I love ugly collab that wasn't really all that great. Um, see like that's the thing like with me like I want collabs to be like the highlight of like their releases like regardless of whether or not it's footwear um, clothing or anything like that. Oh the Mr. Porter and Balenciaga collab or their little exclusive just like it wasn't it wasn't fun it wasn't fun at all like the triple s had just like neon like hints and like that like the fuck like Mr. Porter like you know you're supposed to be like super fucking classy and then the speed uh, runner just was in gray and I'm just like like the fuck? Yeah, like there's a few more collabs. Um, Tyler's first collab with Converse, I didn't really like, but that was a lot better than the Vince Staples collab. I, I wasn't really feeling the sneakers and stuff collab um, with the Gore-Tex upper. Uh, I feel like they could have thought a bit more, but the, but the Gore-Tex collab was kind of funny. It was a lot better than, I guess, the Converse collabs. See, like, it's always hit and miss. It's always hit and miss. Like, I want, like, a collab to be, like, a full package, you know? So like a good collab might even be like a redesign of like a model. I keep on looking here because oh, I keep on talking about this. Uh, the Friday, the Friday Nike collection. I think this is the part two where they did the dunk high and then they did the dunk low. So I think this is a proper collab. I think the off-white 10 is a proper collab. Um, I think the Yeezy shoes are a proper collab if you can even call that a collab anymore. It's more like it's a part of their division, but it's just like those are collabs like those are those have a message those have follow through those have enough differences to warrant like you know like an extra you know sum of money or more hype or possibly even paying resale like that is worth it not like these half-assed collabs that literally slap on a celebrity's name oh <sighs> fuck this is 2018 but that two chains and Versace shoe, nasty as fuck. Please do not buy that. Nasty as fuck. Like they could have just done something so much like cleaner. Like I would have done like maybe like a black leather crepe, like you know, um, like maybe not even like a boot, but like you know, maybe even I don't know. Like I'd be doing like maybe like a derby, and then I would have. Um, two little gold chains up front and like that's enough to like you know send up the, the, the fucking the sneaker is so shit yeah like enough of me like freaking out and shit so another thing i think this is number four yeah like number four would be the fear of god aesthetic um so the most recent fear of god i'm okay um seasons one through three maybe even uh maybe even four i'm just not feeling uh it's just that it used to be like a super iconic fit, like, you know, like Kanye wore, you know, Fear of God super distressed with, I think it was during the time of the 350 turtle doves. He would just wear it very well. And then he moved on to the next thing. And then I feel like everybody who is, I, I don't want to be like that elitist, but it was like a normie. H&M has shit like that, now Zara has shit like that, and everybody who shops out there like is like, dude, that's, 
that's so sick. Let me just go get my bomber. My, let me get my like extended long tee, and let me get like my fucking distressed jeans with um, fuck like Vans or something or my Yeezys. See, like that's the thing. Like I can appreciate fear of God from like a distance, but I just want the season one through three like that, like almost like that rock star ish vibe to kind of die out. Like I think Saint Laurent Paris. You know, like Saint Laurent is doing an okay job, doing good. I still feel like they're carrying a little bit of, you know, whatever like Hedy's been doing or had done. Also that Hedy Celine thing, that's crazy, but next. Last but not least is over accessorizing. So I do encourage people to have accessories because I do think it's like an untapped, like, I guess, sphere for menswear. And especially with menswear getting like more and more popular, like I guess appeal more and more guys caring about what they look and how they dress. Um, accessories just as a natural occurrence to it. Um, last year I saw a bunch of people just over accessorizing like, you know, three different bracelets, a ring on every finger, a finger, ring on every finger, um, and having like three chains on, you know, this like, <laughs> that shit, like that, it just looks too gaudy. Like that's the thing, like I hate looking gaudy. I hate looking like, I'm like so full, like not even full of my shit, more like, mm, oh, I can own a third world country. Mm. You know, like I hate that shit. And it's just like that is becoming increasingly prevalent in some people, especially, well, it's good that there are more accessory companies coming up, but it's bad that people just buy a fuck ton of them and just like wear, like just overdo it. Like it's good as like a low key flex. Like I have like, well, like this ring my girlfriend got me, it's just like some cool ring. It, you know, like I like it. It fits on my ring finger perfectly. It's just like, it's like memorable. My girlfriend also got me my Margiela necklace and it's just like, like I like memorable stuff, not really just like overdoing it. So that was my 10, not 10, my five things or five trends that I want dead by the end of 2018 or I'd love to be dead. Yeah, comment down below. Let me know if uh, you guys have anything that you guys want to chime in about these trends or if you guys have any trends that you aren't particularly feeling. I pretty much reply to every comment, you know, like even the even the meme comments. I'm just like, mm. so yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.